All right, so today for class, we are going to do a diet analysis. So I'm going to lay out how you do it, what you're going to use, and then um, for your assignment, you are going to complete this analysis, just like I'm going to show you here. And uh, you're going to upload this analysis, and then you're going to listen to the 30 minutes of lecture where we went over all the in-class assignments, or all, their, all the students who are in class, all of their analyses. So you can kind of understand uh, what all these diets look like. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, make up a diet. You could do your own diet, like I did my diet from yesterday. And you can see you're going to make pictures. You're going to post pictures of what your diet consists of. Um, or you can make up a diet. So uh, like this, these students did a Mediterranean diet. We had a vegetarian diet. We had a cheap college diet. We had uh, a high-protein diet. We had a fast food diet, Mediterranean, Chick-fil-A diet, low-carb diet. McDonald's diet, you get the idea. So you can make any diet you want. The purpose is not to have a perfect diet. The purpose is to make a diet that you're interested in learning about. And then we can see uh, some of the pros and cons of that diet. Uh, okay, so uh, basically, you're going to do this. You're going to title your diet, you're going to find some pictures, and then you're going to figure out what foods are in those, and then we're going to enter them into a um, calculator. So you can use PowerPoint for this, and you're basically going to need this slide, and then you're going to copy and paste these from our uh, diet or our meal diet calculator, whatever I'm trying to say. So uh, the first step here, well, one, figure out what kind of diet that you want. And then uh, we're going to use this app right here. So this is called chronometer.com. Um, and let's see here. Actually, I should show you, if you want to see, I'll put a link on Blackboard so you can see uh, the students' diets. So you're going to go to chronometer. You got to create an account, so you're going to need your email address to create an account. But once you do, this is a great resource. Um, and basically, uh, you can do this in an app or you can do it online with a web page because I, I don't like downloading apps um, for this kind of stuff. So uh, basically, this is my um, diet from yesterday. I entered in all the foods that I ate. And then it gives you analysis, right? So it tells you how many calories you consumed, how many I burned, right? So I ate an extra 500 calories yesterday. Um, during the analysis part, you're going to talk about, you know, if I did this every day, what would happen to me? Technically, I would be uh, gaining weight, right? Because I'm eating an extra 500 calories per day, so that would lead to weight gain. Um, if I had the opposite, if I had burned 2,500 and ate 2,000, technically that would lead to me losing weight. That's going to be in your analysis section. But first step is to enter all of your foods. So I'm going to go to today, I guess. And basically, you're going to click add food. And let's see here. Um, I did just eat a little Snickers bar, so let's just type that in. Uh, I wonder if they got sizes here, Snickers. Okay, and so down here, you're going to see sizes. So there's a king size bar. That's not what I had. I had a fun size bar, and I had one of them. And then it'll tell you all the nutrients to that, and you're going to add it. Okay, uh, let's add something else. Let's see here. Um, I don't really know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Um but let's just say, uh, let's say I, I'm going to get spaghetti. I'm going to make some spaghetti. So uh, spaghetti. So one way you can do is you can enter an individual food. So I could say like uh, whole wheat pasta. Pasta whole wheat cooked, okay? And then down here, you're going to pick a way to figure out how much. And you can just estimate, right? So one cup, theoretically, I'd probably eat about two cups of pasta there. So you add that. And we can add... Uh, um, pasta sauce. Let's see what comes up. Uh, there we go. Some spaghetti right there, marinara. Hmm. Okay, so here's a half cup. So I'll probably use a, maybe a full cup of sauce. There we go. And let's say, um, let's say I made a Caesar salad. Caesar salad. There we go. With some bacon in it. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, let's say I probably would eat about two cups of salad as well. So you're going to just do the best you can with ounces, grams, and cups. It can be kind of difficult, but, you know, do what you can. This doesn't need to be perfect. Once you've entered in all of your food data, right? So this is a full day. You're only doing one day. Once you've entered that all in, uh, we're going to look down here, and here's your analysis. So if I go back to uh, my diet analysis, um, we want to have this on here, right? So this is uh, your calories consumed. And so uh, 
first of all, just make your PowerPoint. So copy and paste this onto your PowerPoint. And then you're going to copy and paste all the other nutrients, right? So you got your carbohydrates, uh, lipids, which are fats, and then proteins, and then minerals and vitamins. So I'm going to head back over to chronometer here. So if I scroll down, here's all my vitamins, fats, carbohydrates, lipids. And so what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste these into a PowerPoint. And then just in a notebook that you can take a picture of and upload or in a Word document, you're going to analyze this. So if I'm analyzing my diet, I'm going to look at it. Carbohydrates, I did not too bad. It's a little bit low. Well, let me start with calories first. So calories, I ate 1,700 theoretically. I burned almost 2,000. So with this diet, I would be losing weight, right? And that's a healthy amount to lose. Um, not for me, but for some people it might be. So this could be a good option. You're just going to analyze that real briefly. Then you're going to look down at carbohydrates. How did you do, right? Particularly, you can look at sugars. If the sugars are like really high, like over 100, you know, um, you might want to think about decreasing sugar. And one of the nice part about this app is if I highlight over this sugar, it'll tell me where my sugar is coming from, right? And so this is from the pasta sauce that most of my sugar is coming from. A little bit from the Snickers too. Um, you also want to look at fiber, right? So this is going to be 25 grams. Uh, that's decent. You want to shoot for 30 if you can. The more fiber, the better. And you can see what you did well there. Um, so for my analysis, since I'm a little bit short, right? Since now you don't need to hit every single topic, but you know, if you're below 80%, maybe you could address it. So to increase my amount of fiber, I could uh, eat more salad, right? You're thinking about fruits and vegetables, maybe eat more whole wheat pasta. So uh, the, once you find some things that you're lacking in, you want to think about how you can increase that. Uh, then we go down to fats here. So uh, fat, 130% of my daily value, right? Um, that burrito, as you can see, that I had for breakfast this morning is 66% of my daily fat. So that is quite high. So in order to adjust it, I could say, well, maybe I could make a breed at home and put less fat in it. Um, if we go down, we got omega-3s, omega-6s. Those look okay. They're about 80%. Uh, saturated fat is a little high, right? We want to shoot for like, I don't know, less than 20 grams typically, maybe down to 15, maybe even down to 10. Uh, that burrito that I had, tons of saturated fat. So I could, uh, yeah, watch out for that, right? Reduce that in my diet if I could. Then we go down to protein. Uh, in the uh, last 30 minutes of the in-class video, we'll talk more about protein and you'll actually calculate your protein amounts. But for this, I'm definitely too low in protein, so in order to improve this, maybe I could add some meatballs to my spaghetti. There we go. Problem solved, right? And these are all of your essential amino acids. Basically, you need all of these guys in order to build um, everything that your body needs, right? So these are required in your diet. All right, we go over to vitamins. So... Um, looking pretty good here. Uh, B12. I'm pretty low in B12. So the way you're going to analyze this is you're going to say, well, we're pretty low in B12. So you're going to go over and you're going to search uh, foods high in B12. And we're going to find some foods that are high in B12. So we got liver, kidneys, clams, sardines, beef. All right, so I could add beef. Um, with my meatballs, and there we go. So that's a good, easy way. What else am I low in? I'm low in folate. So I need to look up folate. Foods high in folate. And then the question is, what could I add to my meal? We got some green soybeans, lentils, uh, asparagus, spinach. Maybe what I'll do is in my spaghetti sauce, I'll chop up some spinach, some mushrooms, and uh, fry those up and add them to the spinach sauce. And then I'll get my folate. So that's pretty good. Uh, we're low in vitamin C. So food's high in vitamin C. Uh, spinach, again, will be high there. So I've covered my bases there. Uh, vitamin D, I could drink a glass of milk to increase my vitamin D, right? Vitamin K, uh, you get the idea, right? So you're going to go through this. Another thing you're going to look at is sodium. So I'm way over sodium. So what could I do? Again, that burrito this morning, tons of sodium in it. So if you do a fast food diet, you'll kind of notice that high fat, high sodium. Um, if you have a vitamin or a mineral that's 200%, we don't need to worry about it, right? It's only if you're less or if this bar is red and it says you, you know, consume quite a bit. So you're going to do a one-page analysis on this and find corrections that you can make in addition to your PowerPoint. So let me just uh, give you one quick brief overview once again. So again, you're going to pick any diet that you want. Uh, you can do your own diet. You can do a fast food diet. You can make up any diet that you just want to see 
what it looks like nutrition wise. Then you're going to enter all that foods in, all of those foods into your chronometer. And then you're going to, then you're going to um, head back over here. Once all your foods are entered, you're going to copy and paste uh, this section in so you can assess the calories consumed. And then you're going to paste in all of these sections here. And again, I'll link this on Blackboard so you guys can see it. Um, yep. And then you'll analyze those on a piece of paper. And then we will, um, then you'll turn that your PowerPoint in and your one page that analyzes this. Plus you'll um, watch the lecture so that you understand all of these other diets and some of the issues with those. And then you'll take your notes on those. Plus you'll calculate some protein. And then you'll upload that as well. Um, okay. I think we covered everything. If you have any questions, you can let me know. If not, good luck with your analysis, and I will see you in the next video.